स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट फ्रिक्शन क्लचेस सो व्हाट इज़ अ क्लच ए क्लच इज अ मैकेनिकल डिवाइस व्हिच इज़ यूज्ड टू कनेक्ट और डिस्कनेक्ट दी ड्रिपन शाफ्ट फ्रॉम दी ड्राइविंग शाफ्ट एंड द ऑपरेटर वाइल द पावर इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम ड्राइविंग टू दी ड्रिपन शाफ्ट सो इट इज़ द मैकेनिकल डिवाइस which is used to either connect or disconnect the driven shaft from the driving shaft the friction clutch has the principal application in the transmission of power of the shaft and the machine so the power can be transmitted by means of any method so one is the used in the clutch so it is widely used in the automobile here the transmission device which is widely used to engage and disengage the power from the engine to the rest of the engine so normally the engine the power is transmitting from the engine to the transmission system when the clutch is engaged to the engine the power will be transmitted to the wheels if it is disengaged the power is not transmitted to the system or the engine so that is the clutch so the main principle of the clutch will be works on the friction so there are few points to be noted the contact surface should be developed a friction force that may pick up and hold the load with reasonably low pressure so the heat of the friction should be rapidly dissipated that is nothing but it should be the temperature should be get reduced soon the surface should be backed by the material stiff enough to ensure reasonably uniform distribution of pressure so mainly the two things should be there the one is the uniform pressure and another one is the uniform wear so that are the two major one which is similar to the what is the topic that we are discussed in the previous one so uh, we think we have discussed about the pivot and the collars so there also we have seen about the same two one is the uniform pressure and another one is the uniform wear so here you are going to see about three different types of clutches one is the disc or the plate and another one is the cone clutch and another one is the centrifugal clutch one is the single plate or the plate clutch so here you will be seeing about the single plate clutch and the multiple plate clutch so what is a single plate clutch so it is mostly used in the motor vehicle it consists of only one clutch plate and having one shaft one clutch spring and the pressure plate and others you will be having the friction linings and the bearing so here you will be having a fly wheel we can able to see the fly wheel which is mounted on the engine cam shaft and it will be rotating over it the pressure plate is bolted to the fly wheel and the clutch springs the friction linings on the both sides of the clutch plate are arranged in the single plate clutch so it is a normal clutch pr principle when the clutch is engaged the clutch plate will be get gripped between the fly wheel and the pressure plates during that the friction of the clutch and the shaft will be get revolves when the clutch pedal is in the pressed manner the pressure plates moves back against the force of the spring and the clutch plate becomes free when the fly wheel and the pressure plates are get engaged so this is the single plate clutch principle so as i already said you will be able to study about only important two things one is the uniform pressure and the uniform wear from that you can able to find the value of the torque so apart from this diagram you should able to find the area of the elemental ring and then the axial load so with that values they will be able to find the frictional torque values we can able to say that for both the friction 
for both the uniform pressure as well as the uniform wear, the frictional torque value is mu w r, whereas the r value will be get change based on the pressure or the wear. So there are they are given the given notations. T is the torque. So obviously you are going to find the torque. And P is the intensity of the pressure, axial pressure. R1 and R2 are the external and the internal radius. Mu is the coefficient of friction. So the value of T is equal to mu W R. So the R value get change. So for mean value for uniform pressure, R is equal to 2 by 3. R1 cube minus R2 cube divided by R1 square minus R2 square. For us, the uniform wear, the value of R is R1 plus R2 by 2. So this is your single plate clutch. So few things should be noted. In order to find the maximum pressure and then the minimum pressure, P max into R2 is equal to C, which is nothing but it is a constant value. And then P minimum is equal to R1 into C. So that is the value. And one more note too, for single plate or plate clutch, normally both sides of the disc are effective. Therefore, the single plate has two pairs of surface. So wherever the value of N for single plate, you should be able to give it as the value as 2. So N is equal to 2 for single plate clutch. It is, you can able to assume that value and then you can able to do it the sum if the value of n is not given whereas if they give the value of n it will be having a multiple plate clutch that you'll be seeing it in the next one the average pressure w divided by pi into r1 square minus r2 square the whole square this is the value of the average pressure okay multiple disc clutch so in the multiple disc clutch, it is used in the where we are having large amount of torque is required. So where the large amount of torque is to be transmitted, there you can able to use the multiple disc clutch. So in this clutch, the number of frictional linings and the plates are increased with the increase in capacity of the clutch in order to transmit more power. The multiple plate clutch works in the way similar to that of the single plate clutch. So they are extensively used in the motor cars and the machine tools. So this is the multiple disc clutch. And here also you are having the frictional torque. The value T is equal to N into mu into W into R. Where the value of R is same as that for the uniform pressure. R1 cube 2 by 3 into R1 cube minus R2 cube divided by R1 square minus R2 square. For uniform pressure, the value of R is R1 plus R2. The only thing is, the number of contact surface get changed. For the single plate clutch, you will be directly used it as the value as 2. Whereas for the multiple plate clutch, we can say it as N is equal to N1 plus N2 minus 1. So that is the number of disc on the driving shaft and the number of disc on the driven shaft. So this is your multiple plate one is the cone clutch. So the cone clutch, the contact surface of the shape will be in the form of cone. So for cone means you are having the value as R1 and R2 and also you are having the cone angle. So okay, so there are two cones. The one is the outer cone is called as the cup whereas the inner one is called as the cone. So when the clutch is engaged, the contact is complete and tight with the help of compression spring. So the torque in the transmission during engagement of the clutch through the friction cone from the driving shaft to the driven shaft whereas for disengaging the clutch of cone is pulled back by means of the lever system by means of the compression of the spring so the only thing is you should be able to remember in the cone clutch is the cone angle the cone angle it will be of 8 degree to 15 degree so that is the one of the most important one and then the friction of the frustum of the cone is drawn so with this you are able to going to find the value of the torque so for the cone you should be able to have the value of intensity of pressure 
द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज सेम सर आर वन प्लस आर टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू वेर द अल्फा इज दि कॉन एंगल म्यू इज दि कोविशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड बी इज दि विथ ऑफ दि कॉन्टैक्ट सर्फेस इट इज आलसो नॉन एज फेस विथ ऑफ दि और क्लच फेस सो इट विल बी मैंशनिंग एट एस बी फॉर फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स दे विल बी गिविंग दिस वैल्यू सो दि हेर यू आर कंसिडरिंग द यूनिफॉम प्रेशर एंड द यूनिफॉम टार्क सो टी इज ईक्वल टू बै थ्री म्यू डब्ल्यू कोसी कैलफा आर वन क्यूब मैनस आर टू क्यूब डिवेड बै आर वन स्क्वयर मैनस आर टू स्क्वयर वैर फॉर द यूनिफॉम बियर म्यू डब्ल्यू कोसी कैलफा आर वन प्लस आर टू डिवेड बै टू सो दर यू आर सेंग इट एस इन सिंपल म्यू डब्ल्यू आर कोसी कैलफा फॉर यूनिफॉम प्रेशर आलसो इट इज म्यू डब्ल्यू आर कोसी कैलफा द आर वैल्यू विल बी चेंजेस फॉर बोथ यूनिफॉम प्रेशर एंड यूनिफॉम वियर so only thing is for cone clutch they will be asking you the axial force while engaging and axial force while disengaging so for uh, engaging we is equal to wn into sin alpha plus mu cos alpha for disengagement wd is equal to wn into mu cos alpha minus sin alpha for disengagement of clutch the value of tan alpha must be greater than mu in case the value of tan alpha is less than mu the clutch will not engage sorry the clutch clutch will not disengage with the axial force one is the centrifugal clutch so centrifugal clutch are been mostly used in the automobile and also in the machines so it works on the principle of the centrifugal force so the driving shaft carries having a spider and a shoes and also it will be having few springs in it so when the sliding shoes are mounted on the radial side of the clutch and the spring is kept away from the inner surface of the rim and the pulley so shoes will be having some masses so it is mass is one of the most important parameter in finding the formula for the friction clutch so the shoes will be having some masses and the speed of the driving shaft rises the centrifugal force of the shoes get increase and causing it to move radially outwards towards the guides so when the centrifugal force is less than the spring force the brake lining cannot make any contact with the pulley rim when the centrifugal force is equal to the spring force the shoe will be in the floating manner when the centrifugal exceeds the spring force the shoe moves outwards and comes in contact with the driven member and press it against the transmission of the torque so here one of the most important thing is the finding the masses of the shoe and the sizes on the shoe so here you should be able to find it by means of two method frictional torque of the each shoe and the pc and ps is nothing but it is the value of the centrifugal force on the spring force so the frictional torque for the centrifugal clutch t is equal to mu into pc minus ps into R into n. In short, they have said it as n into f into r, and the size of the shoe that is the length of the contact of the shoe, the width of the shoe. So l into b into p, which is equal to p c into sorry p c minus p s. So that is the centrifugal force on the shoe spring force. So that these are the formulas of different clutches plate have been summarized and given it over here single plate clutch so this is the multiple plate clutch formula has been simplified and they have given it here and then the cone clutch so here this is the formula for the cone clutch and then the centrifugal clutch formula 
of two one one is the mass and the size of the shoe. So based on that, you are finding the value of the torque. So these are the important formulas in the clutches. We are going to see a problems on the single plate clutch. So mainly the problems will be occurs on the single plate clutch. Very rarely they will be asking about the multiple or cone or centrifugal. So I have given a example problem. So a single dry plate clutch transmit. Yeah, that is the transmit 7.5 kilowatt. That is the power at 900 rpm. The axial pressure is limited to 0 0.07 newton per mm square. So that is nothing but the value of axial pressure P. They are given the value of the coefficient of friction 0 0.25. You should be able to find the mean radius and the phase width of the friction lining assuming the ratio of mean radius to the phase width is 4. So mean radius to the phase width that is R by W they have given it as 4. We can either say it as the value of B. We can even take the value as B which is the 4. So it is nothing but only the notation get changed. So the mean radius we should be able to find the value of both the radius and then the outer and the inner radii of the clutch. So that is the given. So that is the required data should be fine. So the given data are P is equal to 7.5 kilowatt. They have con they have convert the value to the watt and the value of N they have given it as N is equal to 900 rpm and they have given the axial pressure value they have take the axial pressure value as 0 0.07 that is a given data so here they, that is a mistake so here also that is 0 0.07 only that is not 0 0.03 so the values on solving you should take the value as 0 0.07 on proceeding the problem they are taking it as 0 0.07 and not 0 0.03 so actually the here alone a slight uh, changes whereas the calculation are same. So mu the coefficient mu is equal to 0 0.25. So for single plate clutch the formula for T is equal to N into mu into W into R. N into mu into W into R. So whereas the value of A is equal to 2 pi into r into w so a is equal to 2 pi r w o so that is the only the value of a so t is equal to n into mu into w into r so the value of w is equal to a into p that is the area into the load so that only they have taken the value as t is equal to n into mu into so this W, we can say it as the value of A into P. So that is the value of A. So A is equal to 2 pi R W. So here also it is a mistake. That is nothing but A into P. Not uh, only A. So since A value for uh, W, they have taken the value as A into P. They have substituted the values here. And they have taken the value and they have find out the value in terms of R cube. All other values are known. For the N value for single plate clutch is 2. So they proceed the value of 2. And then we know the value of mu. We know the value of 2 pi. We don't know the value of R. Whereas for the R by W is equal to 4. With that value we have taken the value of W. So everything notation r alone is unknown so t in terms of r they have mentioned it out so we know that omega is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 in terms of radian per second so they have given the value as in terms of rpm so with that value we know the value of power and they have given the value of omega we can say that p is equal to t into omega with that value we can able to find the value of t 
on equating both the values of t, we can able to find the values of the capital R. So that is the mean radius on equating both the values of t. So what is the formula for both the one is one is t is equal to n into mu into w into r, and another t is the power is equal to t into omega. With that, on equating both the values of t, we can able to find the values of mean radius r. With that r, we can able to find the outer radius and inner radius. W is equal to r1 minus r2, and the mean radius r is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by 2. On equating both r1 minus r2 and r1 plus r2 is equal to 2r, we can able to find the values of r1 and r2. So that is the mean radius. So the next, similarly to the next problem, a single plate clutch with both sides effective has the outer and inner diameter. So they are given the two diameters D1 and D2. The maximum pressure intensity at any point in the contact surface is not to exceed 0 0.1. So the pressure is given as 0 0.1 Newton per mm square and the value of given as the mu, we need to find the values of power. We know omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So n value is given omega 2 pi n divided by 60 radian per second. You will be getting it out. Whereas next one is the finding the value of torque. T is equal to n into mu into w into r. The value of r mean radius. We should be able to find the mean radius by means of external radii and the internal radii. So r is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by 2. So here the r value is known. And then what are the values are there? Then uh, we should be able to find the values of w. So w formula is equal to 2 pi into c into r1 minus r2. 2 pi c into r1 minus r2. So here the c is unknown. So the value of c is equal to p into r2. So C is equal to P into R2. With that you can able to find the values of C, P into R2. With that C you can able to find the values of W. So W is equal to 2 pi C into R1 minus R2. So here you have find the value of W. So here you have find the values of W, R. We know the value of mu. And then the value of N. Uh, what is the value of uh, mu is the known value. So next, uh, since it is a single plate clutch, the value of n is assumed to be 2. So all the values are known. So you can able to find the torque value. So to find the power P is equal to T into omega. That is also known. T as we have find out. Omega value we have find out. So on simplifying it, you can able to find the power transmitter. So you will get the values in terms of what and they are converted to the kilowatt so this is the problem so the problems are almost in the simple manner only if we know the formulas of each and every clutches we can able to proceed it easily so that's all